forgotten NFL MVPs. Sean Alexander 2005 Seattle Seahawks In 2005, Sean Alexander had an exceptional season as the running back for the Seattle Seahawks. He led the league in rushing yards and touchdowns, setting a record for most touchdowns scored in a single season. Despite his record-breaking performance and being only one of two running backs to win the award since 2000, Alexander's MVP win is somewhat obscured by the generation of well-known quarterbacks from this era. Ken Stabler, 1974 Oakland Raiders In 1974, quarterback Ken Stabler led the Oakland Raiders to a Super Bowl victory in Super Bowl XI. In this electrifying season, he passed for 2,469 yards and 26 touchdowns during the regular season, earning him the NFL MVP award. Compared to other iconic AFC quarterbacks from this era, Ken Stabler is lesser known, even though his MVP win came at a time when the Oakland Raiders were one of the dominant teams in the NFL. Larry Brown 1972 for the then-named Washington Redskins. Lawrence the Larry Brown, a running back for the team formerly known as the Washington Redskins, won the NFL MVP award in 1972 as one of the few non-quarterback winners of the award. He had an impressive season, leading the league in rushing yards and guiding the Redskins to the Super Bowl. Despite his achievements, Brown's MVP win is relatively lesser known compared to other iconic running back performances in NFL history. Fran Tarkenton 1975 Minnesota Vikings Quarterback Fran Tarkenton's 1975 season was an impressive display of quarterbacking skills and a season for the ages. He passed for 2,994 yards and 25 touchdowns while leading the Minnesota Vikings to the Super Bowl that year. Despite his name recognition, the Vikings' defeat in Super Bowl IX and the group of more prominent AFC teams of the era contribute to Tarkenton not being as well remembered for being an MVP compared to other legendary quarterback MVPs of his era. Don't forget to like and subscribe.